There's like a boo in every room down here. I would use that as a oh, selling boy. point for this mansion. A boo in every room. <laughs> a spook in every room. A spook around every corner. It's if like you can survive one night in this mansion, you can have it. <laughs> if I if I made that offer to you, would you do it? If you knew I was serious? Well, like, what what could possibly happen? It's kind of like those questions like we would ask each other, like, uh, here here's this leash, walk this dog down this one street, and then come straight back, don't talk to anybody, <laughs> yeah. don't look at anyone, look straight at the ground, walk the dog out there and back for $10,000, would you do it? Yes. <laughs> don't talk to anyone. Just do it. Could you do that? It's gotta be something completely inconspicuous, too. Put this pencil in your pocket and walk through the metal detector at the school there. <laughs> yeah. Ten grand, do you want to do it? It's just a pencil. <laughs> like, 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 booze, man. Booze, my god. This is boo country. Welcome to Boo Country. But booze, though. Oh, yeah. Luigi, my boy, cleaning piece up anyway. It wouldn't hurt to help out the plants in the mansion. You know what plants like, don't you? Will you now send me a boo and I'll tell you good. Yep. Alright. What am I going to get in, in, uh, in, as a reward? Just money? Or, or are you going to remove money? Because that's a that's a deal I could get back behind. Mm -hmm. I'll do this, and you take the money off my hands. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but you don't have money. Well, I mean, in case I ever get money. <laughs> in case I find money while doing this for you. So you can like you can kind of keep the booze and in. in uh, uh, in control if you waggle the uh, C stick slightly. I learned that from speedruns, but I don't bother to do it because it's friggin' annoying. The C stick is hard to friggin' move at all. Nice, thank you. Everybody knows the C stick was not meant to be used. Yeah, it was just an afterthought. Kind of feels like that. Okay, two more. Have you ever noticed that the GameCube controller is just the controller that won't die? Like, we have uh, rumors of a new Smash Brothers or a re-release of Smash 4 on the next Nintendo console, and they're already complaining about whether or not they're going to be able to use the GameCube controller. Yeah. It's going to be 2017. <laughs> They just can't let go. Like I know. When is Nintendo gonna give up and make that their controller? Like no one wants to let it go. Like people are still wanting it. It's it, still selling. Like yeah. I bought that uh, classic controller in a GameCube style there to use on the uh, is the Hori uh, fight pad one. Mm -hmm. I bought that like last year, like 15 years after the GameCube controller was originally released. Yeah. It's still going. You can't put it down. You can't stop it. <laughs> it's the controller it, that wouldn't quit. Yeah, it it worked too much for them, and now they're trying to hide. Yeah, they're like trying they to can't get away from tracks. it. Yeah. Would you people shut up about the GameCube controller? Just forget it. <laughs> We're not making any more adapters. We're not making anything good ever again. Enjoy shut your, up. Enjoy your flat controllers, because that's all we're doing. Shut Just up about adapters. It. We're not making one more adapter for that controller. It's gone. Shut up. And then, like, they break down and release another adapter. And this time they make 50. Uh -huh. And if you can get one, good luck. Because they're not going to restock them. So many people gave up on getting a GameCube adapter for the Wii U. Sad. They made it intentionally hard to get, I think. Hoping people would forget about the GameCube controller. Yeah. Just to put it out of your mind. <laughs> we'll release this adapter, but we'll hardly release any to discourage you from wanting to use it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, maybe when we get to the next console, we can finally forget about it now. 
that's not how a uh, that's not how a business would ever function. No, I know they're not but, normal. Yeah, that's how you know it's Nintendo's plan. Yeah, as they they don't they don't work that way. It's a mixture of like uh, new wave, like Japanese businessman ethics from like uh, the fifties and stuff, mm -hmm. and uh, extreme IP protectionism. Yeah, like it's really it's really unique. Like they're unique. I'll give them that. You can tell it's Nintendo, just from the craziness. Like, the Japanese businessman style, it's like, we're changing nothing. Yeah. Have fun. You know what Nintendo needs to do? What? Make three more Splatoons. Yeah. Like, three good new IPs. They can do that. They have the talent to do that. Just and make sure Miyamoto stays out of the room. Yeah. Just keep... <laughs> no, maybe, Miyamoto, maybe just don't... Just, just go... Go clean up the toilet. Keep, keep me, give me a moto an office, and have people come to him for advice. If they want, an, if they want like advice on how to, you don't like, have to listen. Something or yeah, yeah, <laughs> you don't have to listen. Yeah, I know. Lately, it seems like Miyamoto is like everything he ha said about Star Fox Zero was not true or. Uh -huh was evidence that he was making the game bad. Yeah. Like, he said he wanted to delay the game to work on the cutscenes. And... This is a guy who said maybe Paper Mario didn't need a story. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, there's something crazy about him right now. I don't know if he's the same as he was. He, he wants to... He wants to spruce up the presentation on this, uh... on this space shoot... on this scrolling space shooter. And, uh... He removes the, the story from an RPG. Boutique as chic. Boutique. I don't know how to pronounce it. C S chic. C S chic. C S chic. I think it's I think it's shit. I it's, think it's say. It's boutiqua. Yeah. C S chic. Boutiqua. <laughs> Boutiqua. Tito Dick! Dick man, baby! Dick man, baby! <laughs> Tito Dick, Dick, Dick man, baby! Tito Dick, Tito Dick, 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 Dick man, Dick, 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 Dick man, Dick, Dick, Dick man, baby! <laughs> Who's that? That's Tito Dick. We call him Dick man. <laughs> he calls himself Dick man. Tito Dick man, Dick. <laughs> God. Oh. And he's got like a profusely bulging package mm -hmm. in his pants at all times just sticking out like look at this this is battle this is I'm doing battle right now this is combat I'm trying to catch my Pokemon I'm trying to catch a haunter right now it's just a pain in the ass fuck you <laughs> double fuck you oh my god man that's you just made me think about the idea of a Pokemon a Nintendo I know Nintendo kind of makes Pokemon, but, uh, imagine a, Nin a Mario Pokemon game where you catch all the different enemies across the Mario series, like Goombas, Koopas, Buzzy Beetles, you uh -huh. train them up and stuff, and Boos, wouldn't that be great? I'm sure there's enough enemies to fill a, like, a 150 roster. <laughs> yeah. That would be strange. Okay, yeah. we're good. Yeah. Yeah, and you play as your own customized plumber. Yeah, you make a plumber when you start naming yourself and choose the letter on your head and the color. Oh yeah. <laughs> you go you go off plumbing. But really you're just catching Pokemon or catching monsters from Get, the yeah. Mario franchise. Call Mario Quest monsters. Yeah, exactly. Make your own plumber. Whoa. Finally, character customization. Finally, I can make my own plumber. <laughs> finally. <laughs> finally. And like, they got an online world where everyone has their, their own Marios running around. Their own plumbers? Yeah. <laughs> and you can interact and you can trade and you can... 
You can craft items. And you can pay ten dollars to roll for uh, for rare drops. Yeah, loot crates. <laughs> yeah. It basically it comes down to like noses, hats, color schemes, uh, suspenders, mm -hmm. and uh, gloves, boots, and mustaches. If you're a plumber. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, and there's a whole bunch of really unimaginative people just playing as Mario. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Just really suck, and they just made Mario. Great. <laughs> they have, like, uh, they have female Marios, too. <laughs> yeah. It has all my favorite plumbers. Wow. All 12. Uh, Collect them all. Yeah, if I was playing that game, I'd make, uh, I'd make my plumber, uh, Maximum height and maximum heft of a gigantic plumber. Because, <laughs> uh -huh. I mean, I suppose you can make a plumber at least, like, 50% bigger than Waluigi and 50% fatter than Wario. Uh-huh. Would maybe be the limit. And, like, uh... <laughs> oh, yeah. And, uh... Like, you can... By eating mushrooms, your character grows permanently, just, uh, slightly. uh -huh. So like you com you complete missions to uh, get mushrooms and it's like you're just trying to get your character bigger. So do you fight in combat along with your monsters, like SMT? <laughs> Did we finally beat this? Oh yeah! Holy crap! Holy crap! In years. It's time to beat Final Boss. This took way too long. I know. Unacceptably long. I don't know how to make anything faster. Yeah. Seems like everything we play takes forever. Let me out of this painting. I'm stuck inside a Mario 64 level. This isn't a painting, it's a it, 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 it's a mirror. It's a painting, not a mirror. I mean, uh -huh. I'm stuck inside Bob on Battlefield. Man, I hope Let's Plays are on the way out. <laughs> I just want it to end. Just end it. Yeah. End it now. I, I just it. want. If it were up to me, Let's Plays would stop on being popular. Yeah. And we could just go to. We could showcase showcase games, but not do Let's Plays. Yeah. Um, behind that mirror, the world that Mario's in back there, is Mario Sunshine. <laughs> yeah. You just didn't know it yet. <laughs> Help me, Luigi. I despise the way you swerp, sloop, warp, slurg, vacuumed up all my friends. But you look a true boo. And join your brother inside the painting. See, I told you he was in the Mario level back there. Yeah. Uh oh. It's actually Bowser. Oh my god. Bowser was a villain all along. Wow. Except he doesn't have a throat for some reason. Yeah, this is inside the volcano on uh, Super Mario Sunshine. Yeah. We're inside the volcano right now. Uh-huh. That's some lore for and you. This is ordinary giant Bowser. Yeah, this is before he gets into his tub. Yeah. In Super Mario Sunshine. And before he grows a throat. Yeah. And before his head's, uh, you know, attached properly. But yeah, this is the real Bowser. Mm -hmm. Is this go. the first instance of the modern Bowser? Like, you know, with that slightly different oh, design. Yeah. Huh. Perhaps. He, he had a kind of a different design in 64. Oh, uh, Mario Party. Did that predate? Yeah, it was on the... What the heck? N64. What did he look like in Mario Party on the N64? Whoa, dude. Bowser, I mean... Did he look like this? With the different mouth design, kind of? Hmm. Because in 64, he really looked like a turtle or something. Yeah, he looked like an animal in 64. Yeah. 
But did he look like this in Mario Party? Uh, he looked similar to this in Mario Party, I think. Which Mario Party? Was it the last one on the 64? Uh, probably the later ones. And no, no, they... They wouldn't make him look animalistic in Mario Party. That, does, that doesn't seem right. I think they would have... Maybe this design was made for Mario Party. Maybe. Anyway, I like it a little bit more, I think, anyway. I mean, when he's like a significant character and not just a boss, then uh, you gotta make him look a little more human. Hmm. Kinda of funny, I don't remember what to do. Yeah, that's uh... Can't suck things up, these things up, that's for sure. Can you suck up his tail? Oh. <laughs> That'll be retarded. I kinda want I kinda wanna get sucked up. Oh, he can he's got a tail attack. Mm. It's neat. I kinda wanna get uh, sucked up by him and just you know, um, just for humor's sake. I knew you were gonna say that. <laughs> <laughs> just to see what it's like, you know. Yeah, yeah, just, just see what it's like. For the sake of for the purpose of comedy, just I think to it see would what be, it's like. Think it would be, I think it would be funny to see what it feels like. Yeah, to be a inside to be a hundred percent fully eternally inside Bowser's stomach forever. <laughs> yeah. I just wanna know what that's like. No, it has to be it has to be uh boo suit Bowser. Oh, okay, yeah. Like the just forever early inside his stomach. Yeah. The cotton latex feel of the inside of his stomach. <laughs> Forever really. <laughs> I, I wonder how much that word is used these days. I if wanna, it is a word. I want to just get a rubberized Bowser costume and then inflate it with me in it and just get gigantic and get it on video. Yeah. Inflate to the size of a room my Bowser costume. What do we do? Hold on, um, okay, uh, it's so lazy, like, just look at how he's making these bombs in his hand, yeah, just like, whoop, whoop, like, it's not really thought out that well, it's okay, boss, he, he does the stuff he does as Bowser, like he, yeah, he, look, it's just Luigi's mansion here right there. It's just yeah. no real in-universe reason why he can do that. Like, he just does. Because this is Luigi's mansion. I would have even accepted maybe him reaching down and picking up rocks or something. You know, just out of the ground, kind of. Yeah. Would even look a little bit better, but... Raw. Like, what's he doing? He's just like puking up a bomb from the palm of his hand. Oh. You got one? Yeah. I thought you tried to do that a million times. It didn't work. Uh, I have to physically collide with it. They don't look like something you're supposed to it. collide with. Yeah, I know. See, that's a visual flaw. Right? Not necessarily. Well, I video mean... game logic tells you not to touch something spiky. Oh, whoops. <laughs> right? I'm inside him. Oh, finally. Oh, yes. Yes. Yes! What was that like? Yeah, kind of gross, actually. Uh, I don't think I like it anymore. I was getting excited there for a minute. Just forever you're early inside Bowser. Whoa! Whoa, you caught me. I wonder if I can beat him without getting hit. Oh, whoops. Nope. <laughs> Man, Bowser has some weird uh, physiology in this game. Yeah. Oh. He's not Bowser at all. No, that's impossible. 
Imagine if when this... I was when I was younger and uh, I wasn't paying, I wasn't fully paying attention. Uh, I thought it was just Bowser, like his corpse or something. Imagine if that is Bowser, and that's how what how Bowser is. It's really King Boo inside him <laughs> yeah. the whole time. Everywhere Bowser's ever appeared, uh -huh. it was King Boo the whole time. It was me, King Boo, all along. It was me. Or he takes off his Bowser takes off his head, and it's Mario's head underneath. <laughs> How could you? Oh no! What betrayed again? And Mario just says, "Heil Koopa." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh my God! What? The cliffhanger just ends right. There's no final boss. <laughs> Mario was a double agent for the Koopa army the whole time. The minute before Luigi, uh, Mario kicks Luigi out of the helicopter to kill him, Mario turns around and just says, Hail Bowser, and then kicks him out of the helicopter. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. All this time, Mario was working for Bowser. It only appeared to us like he wasn't. It was a well-staged production mm -hmm. put on for the public. To believe that Mario was really against Bowser. Over 30 years <laughs> of games where he was always Bowser. Even when he fought Bowser. Yes. You didn't really believe that Bowser was fighting Bowser Mario fights, this whole time. The Bowser you? fights were, were symbolic. Yeah. It, they represented his inner ter turmoil. Yeah. As he was forced to sell out and, Princess Peach. Yeah. Oh, well, that's his job. Double agent. Like, it, the Bowser fights are him deciding whether or not he should change into Bowser. Like, now that he's in his castle. Now that he's in his own castle and fought his own guards to get there. <laughs> that's, like, the exact convoluted shithole plot of uh, the first Metal Gear game. <laughs> like, on the MSX. Oh, yeah? It took, well, yeah, it took them forever to make it make sense. Like, <laughs> Kojima had to work so hard to make that old game make sense. Because, uh, you, uh, invade Outer Heaven under the directive of, of Foxhound, only to find out Big Boss, the leader of Foxhound, is also the leader of Outer Heaven, and you fight him at the end. Oh, but yeah, he sent right. you. <laughs> it doesn't uh -huh. make any sense. Kojima and whoever was writing that game just wanted to put in a twist. Yeah, yeah. And they didn't think the game was going to be popular. And then they had, they had to make that make sense. How could Big Boss send Solid Snake to kill Big Boss? <laughs> yeah. It doesn't make any sense. And they glossed over it for like 30 years and tried to make it make sense at the last minute. Mm -hmm. This is hilarious. Oh, is that what is that what MGS5 is all about? Oh, uh, you just spoiled it for everybody who didn't play yet. Yeah, it explains oh, okay. that. It explains that. Okay, yeah. I don't mind the explanation. I just don't like that that's what it was about. Because <laughs> there's, not, there's nothing that else. Is, that there's is, nothing uh, else in that game. That's the only yeah. thing in it. That's the only idea you had. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that is kind of funky. Because it's just like an asshole explanation for something that was done like yeah. decades ago. I think people were ready to consider Metal Gear 1 on the MSX to be non-canon. Yeah. I think we were ready for that. But Kojima was just like, nope, it's canon. And I had to yeah. force it at the last minute. Because, no, most a lot of long-running series, their first game never took itself seriously and never considered itself a franchise. Mm -hmm. So they just did whatever they wanted. Like, the writing in the original Star Trek series is impossible to reconcile with the universe now. It makes oh, no yeah. sense. Because they didn't think they were going to be on air that long. Oh shit. This is his second form. Oh my god. See, he puts the horns lower on his head uh, in order to more efficiently use them as a weapon. Whoa. Whoops. 
That was a bad idea. Maybe, maybe King Boo should be like the final boss of the next Mario game. That'd be kind of nice. I don't think they'd do this. They can make him like Mysterio from no. Spider-Man. The final boss in the next Mario game should actually be Waluigi. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, make mm. Waluigi relevant. I'd like that. Waluigi's castle. But anyway, that's this. Holy shit, we did it. Mario's dead in that painting. Oh, zero money. We were too late. Chris Luigi. You oh. did it. Truly remarkable, my boy. And without getting... Without uh, succumbing to your capitalist urges. <laughs> yeah, boy. This is all the beginning of the... Uh, uh, of the communist revolution of the well, Russian Kingdom. This is how it happened. Yeah. Luigi realizes that we don't, we don't need to obtain money. We don't if, need property. If everyone was treated, <laughs> if everyone was treated equally and given an equal share yeah. of the government stuff, then we'd all be fine. Yeah, everyone's exactly the same anyway, right? Mm -hmm. What could go wrong? We're not going to end up with a Soviet potato patch, <laughs> where uh, we got rid of the farmers and replaced the farmers with government-trained workers to go in who don't know how to farm mm -hmm. and then uh, once the food supply starts running out the government is forced to make the farmers make the potatoes Yeah. at gunpoint uh -huh. because there's no other way to get potatoes now <laughs> yeah that's <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's uh. well I mean <laughs> when, when we're talking about toads they're not good at anything no they're not so I mean, we can if they're train just going to slack off We can anyway. train up an army of a million toads yeah. to go just force them to do their job and they won't do it right. And, but Well, at least Mario and Luigi do their job. That's all the Mushroom Kingdom needs. Yep. There we go. Yeah. Got my painting. Don't drop it. Whoa! I dropped it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> this will mess with your head. All your hard work lasted only a single night. Well done, Luigi. Oh, it didn't feel like it. It sure didn't feel like it. I took a lot of naps in that single night, and spent a lot of days at home. <laughs> but uh, is it over your like? Say what? Enough rambling about money. He's mentioning money. Yeah. I have none, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if he says something different. Like, stop talking about money. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it seems like it's like that's a special thing that he'd say if uh, if he didn't get any. They're gonna fuse those just... together to make Mario. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> King Boo and a Bowser corpse mm -hmm. will create our Mario. Up, little starch, little oregano, little cinnamon, little lemon zest. Press them into visible forms. Press them. Press them. Man, that that's kind of that's giving me feelings too. The mm -hmm. the idea of being mm. pressed into a physical form. This reminds me of that episode of Wallace and Gromit, where. Uh, Wallace makes a, uh, like a sheep shearing machine. Remember that? <laughs> mm -hmm. It's this big monstrous device. It's yeah. terrifying. <laughs> that used to scare me. Uncle Grimly. Weird Uncle Grimly. Don't let him babysit the kids. He gets Sir really Wesley. touchy. But what about Bowser? Well, Bowser's soul is in hell. <laughs> Bowser has no soul. You found what? Oh, you got the ruby. Wait a minute. That might be the minimum, right? Because you yeah. gotta have to be in the last boss. That's pretty good, though. Look. Okay. So five thousand. That's officially exactly what we have. Is the minimum you can get. We did it. Mm -hmm. So save that. 
We did it. Uh, successfully. It's great. God. We did it, guys. That's This should be hate rank. Now Mario has to be pulled out of the painting. Mm -hmm. And stretched into a physical form. We need to Yet stretch again. his Z-dimension really far. Uh -huh. Is that water? Oh. It's getting thick. <laughs> Maybe made it. Maybe turn up the thickness a little bit. More thick. Yeah. There's a button that says more thick. <laughs> Just keep pressing it. Oh no, Mario's gonna come out so thick. Holy shit. He's like Wario when he comes out. And look, look listen to this. This is, this is my favorite part. Luigi's like feeble, exhausted laugh. Like he just, he just fed up. Look at him. Oh my god, looks like he's gonna die. He can barely stand anymore. He's <laughs> like... What the... Oh. Somebody gonna, help Mario. He's gonna be drinking tonight. Yeah, he's gonna be drinking. He's gonna be eating food tonight. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> Mario's gonna be eating food tonight. Finally. Yep. Yep. How many years did this take? I think too. Oh my god. Very slowly. Very slow progress. Yeah, we, we should stop doing this. I think. Are we the slowest players on YouTube? Well, there's Game Grumps. And there's... I know Proton John is unbelievably slow. Oh yeah. Probably. I haven't watched him in a long time. It's because it's... It takes him like eight years to get through a game. Yeah. Yep, yeah, there's Luigi's Mansion. Hiroki Satoy. <laughs> yep. I think uh, Chugga Conroy did both Luigi's Mansion games in the, the span of time that did, we were doing this. Funny guy. Not really. <laughs> Kazumi Totik. <laughs> Yaji Inak. Toru Askawa. Yeah, that's how you pronounce it. That's how I pronounce all these names. They're African. Charles Martinet. Jen Taylor. Jen Tuck. He's so good. So good. So good. What's the good? Bill Trinan. <laughs> Leslie Sp What? <laughs> Leslie Sp <laughs> Sw It's like that one time, I, on some video, I forget which video it was, I said Facebook, and I said it Facebook. <laughs> what? Remember that? Facebook? Why? Facebook? Why though? I don't know. Why would you do that if, unless you were desperate for humor? Facebook? Yeah. Okay, Ghost was settled. Professor Egad was so delighted to have all of his paintings returned that he used the treasure Luigi had to. Bu oh, the haunted mansion disappeared without a trace. Rank H. There it oh, is. There's there it our is. mansion. There's our tent. A little tent. That's our mansion. Why? Why does he have to live there, though? I don't know. Why not? Like. Nothing's better than that. Yeah. He probably already lives somewhere. That massive ruby crown could only buy him that tent. Yeah. Such five thousand gold coins. Unbelievable inflation. Oh my god. Is this in Halifax? This is why we need a revolution. <laughs> exactly. Nobody's gonna know where Halifax is. <laughs> uh yeah. I, I I think Yeah. I uh that's the last of Luigi's Mansion we'll be seeing. It's gone for good. Now, why isn't there a sequel that takes place in the tent? That'd be know. a short game. 